Hello, everyone. So let's look at a proration on a 360 day calendar. So on uh, both of these questions, what you're going to see is both of them, the seller paid in advance. We're using a 360 day calendar. And they're both around property taxes. So on this first question, what you're going to see is this on a January 15th, a seller paid $960 in annual property taxes for the current calendar year. A buyer is purchasing the house with the closing set up for March 1st. What will be the seller's credit for the property tax already paid if the buyer pays for the day of closing? Use a 360-day year and 30-day month. So one of the things that we're going to do is we are going to look at this. $960 for the year. And remember that we are basing this off of a 360 day calendar. So we need to figure out what each day is worth based off of 360 days. So we're gonna take 960, and we're gonna divide that by 360 days. So that gonna, that's gonna give us $2.67. So each day is worth $2.67. And then the second thing that we need to figure out, right, is how many days the seller was actually in the home. And so we're basing this off of a 30-day month, right, which leads us into a 360-day calendar. So March 1st. So the seller, well, actually January and February, each of these being 30 days. All right. So we're going to multiply $2.67 times 60 days, and that is going to give us $160.20. So this is how many dollars is representative of the seller's time in the house. And so we are going to take $960. We're going to subtract that from $160.20. And that is going to give us $799.80. That is going to be represented as a debit to the buyer and a credit to the seller. And a second question, as we move along, will look like something like this. On February 1st, a seller paid $1,140 in annual property tax for the current calendar year. He sold the house with the closing set for April 1st. What will be the seller's credit for the property taxes already paid if the buyer pays for the day of closing? Use, again, a 360-day year and a 30-day month. And guys, as we're going through this, right, they're throwing in these dates right here, which mean nothing to us. This is just when the policy was paid for. It, we're not going to base any of our prorations off of this date. So when we go through, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take our $1,140 for the year. And we're going to divide that by a 360 day year. So each day now, as we're going through here, will be $3.17. So each day is worth $3.17. And what we're going to do now is we need to figure out how many days the seller was actually in the house. So January, February, March. Again, the buyer is paying for the day of closing, which is April 1st. So we're not going to touch April. So we have, again, we're working on a 30-day month, 360-day calendar. So that's 90 days. So we're going to take $3.17. or $3 We're going to multiply that by 90 days. And that is going to give us $285 is the dollar representation of how many days the uh, seller was actually in the home and use the uh, benefit from the property. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the total $1,140 
we're going to subtract the $285, which is the seller's time. And we're going to get $855. $855, that is going to be a debit to the buyer and a credit to the seller. Because again, it was already paid. These were paid in advance. All right, everyone. I hope that that was helpful. This is going to help you on your journey to becoming a real estate agent. Stay tuned for the next one.